Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Doom Eternal. This is the Slayer Gate in the Cultist Base mission, the third mission, and this is the second Slayer Gate. I have the microwave microwave beam mod, and I want to get the faster beam charge upgrade for that. If you notice that there's kind of a delay when you're trying to grab something with the microwave beam, you can get rid of that delay by getting the faster beam charge. And I also got permafrost for the ice bomb. This will uh, freeze demons longer. This is really important because it will allow you to throw an ice bomb, then switch to another weapon, for example, the rocket launcher, and then do a lock-on burst before um, the enemy comes out of the ice bomb, which is a huge, huge advantage. All right, so we're going to roll the Slayer Gate um, at normal speed, and then I'll do a slow motion replay and explain my strategies. This is kind of like uh, a false start. This rarely happens where this Mancubus jumps off to the right. Um, he will eventually do that if you give him enough time, but I no normally don't give him enough time. So I just did a low checkpoint because I didn't like the way things were going. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to roll it and then I'll explain my strategies in the slow-mo replay. For now, I'll just give you an overview. There are three Mancubuses, two Cacodemons, and three Arachnotrons. Kill the last Mancubus and the Cacodemon spawn. Kill the last Cacodemon and the Arachnotron spawn. There are also... An, there's an endless spawn of Imps, Gargoyles, Soldiers, and prowlers even. Yeah, I thought there was a set number of prowlers there or not. They just keep spawning. So yeah, you gotta deal with that. There is also four chainsaw fuel cans. So if you let your chainsaw refuel 150 before picking up, you know, a couple of cans, you could refill your chainsaw twice over in this slayer gate, which means you can get two free heavy kills. And you might as well make use of that, because you can't take it with you. Well, technically you can. I'll explain in the slow-mo replay. Yeah, and some of you may be wondering, why do you use the rockets, triple rocket lock-on burst on a Gaka demon? Are you crazy, Slack? No, that wasn't panic and that, that was that was planned. That's the second Cacodemon down. Did I say Cacodemon or Rapidron? <coughs> And that's the last Arachnotron. So now that the fight is really well in hand, there's just uh, some imps and guard goals. Okay, so slow mo replay. Here we go. You're gonna start with the rocket launcher. Immediately, as soon as you get in, there's gonna be a Mancubus dead ahead, just to the right a little bit. It's gonna burst through the wall there. You can grab him with a lock on burst. It's it's really easy. So that's the first thing you're gonna do. Don't even move. Just move your your aim off to the right a little bit and you're gonna get a lock on burst but that won't kill him it will cripple him but it won't kill him severely injure him okay here we go there we go lock on burst grab him locked let fly the three rockets now you're gonna jump dash into the monkey bar this is gonna swing you up don't forget I have chrono strike so now when I'm in midair I'm aiming my rocket launcher um, and now I'm like in chrono strike and just launch a frag and I'm like slow-mo coming down and when you land this frag is gonna put him into glory kill status as soon as it explodes boom he's in glory kill status he's staggered so I don't even wait I just press the the melee button and it gives me a glory kill 
Now we're going to go through that tunnel and on the way going to switch over to the, the plasma rifle and I'm looking for the second mancubus and I'm going to do the microwave beam on him, beam on him. and a flame frag combo. There he is, grab him with the microwave beam. As soon as you grab him, flame him and then frag him. This will take him down very quickly and save you um, plasma rifle ammo and ba-boom. There we go. Switch over to the shotgun, turn to the left. Immediately shoot anything that's in the way there. If you get a glory kill, I don't recommend you stop and do it because the next part is critical. You gotta get around here. Drop down here, pick up some armor. Take the blue airlift up, turn to the right a little bit and dash across this way. And if you need some more armor, you can go along the ground, ground but I felt pretty comfortable. And see that arch, see that black arch on the, the left there, right there, on the left side of the screen? The third mancubus is gonna bust through that fairly soon, not right away. You have to kill a couple of imps and several soldiers and whatnot. Just grabbing some armor here and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna camp right here. I'm gonna wait for that mancubus and I've switched over to the ice bomb and I'm just gonna use the uh, sticky bombs to keep all these imps and soldiers off my ass. <clears throat> Pardon me, while I'm waiting for the mancubus to spawn. And if you camp right here, it's pretty good cover. Don't forget to use the barrel to your advantage. As soon as the mancubus spawns, out goes the ice bomb. And then you're going to switch over to the rocket launcher and a triple lock-on burst, which is why I got permafrost. There, there he is. He broke through. No, wait, not yet. And watch your back. See, you see me frequently checking. I think he just broke through. There he is. He broke through. So we're right on top of him. Throw out the ice bomb. Switch over to the rocket launcher. And like I said, because we have permafrost, we have time to do this now. Lock on burst. This is the longest half a second in this. Lock on burst. Blast him. This will severely injure him. And now all you have to do is just shoot him with a shotgun. All you have to do is sticky bomb. Just shoot him and this will put him in glory kill. Glory kill. And it's a little risky, but um, I've never died doing this. And you get a lot of health back if you're injured. <laughs> this is a really great glory kill. I never really noticed exactly what he does there. And he's down. Now we're going to turn to the left and take the blue shoot up. And this is going to shoot us up just in front of the starting point right there at the top of the stairs. I'm going to dash over, switch to the rocket launcher on the way. And we're going to look for a cacodemon over there always spawns right there and the easiest way is to just let fly a lock on burst because we're going to do two chainsawings later on so that'll take them down really quick and there's another cacodemon that spawns right here which is why i do that so it doesn't take me out of position so you can just shoot over here pull out your shotgun feed him a uh, spicy meatball there we go, sticky bomb right in the mouth. Flame him. Flame him, Zach. I think somebody's he's like somebody's picking taking pot shots at me. And then do a glory kill. There we go, got some armor back. Now um this is pretty random because the arachnotron gets really skitterish, but basically I'm hunting around for any arachnotron because I got a fully loaded chainsaw and lots of chainsaw fuel. So I'm just staying like available in the center and looking around. As soon as I spot an Arachnotron, chainsaw. There he is. Now these things are really skitterish. I think they're, the AI is actually like, has them, you know, configured to take evasive action like every five seconds or something like that because these things when I was practicing for this Slayer game it was really annoying trying to get on top of them. Okay so basically we're gonna um, chainsaw the first Arachnotron. I'm waiting to ambush him taking a little bit of heat but that's okay. 
come around the corner here. And we got him. Chainsaw. This should give me back six rockets. There we go. Five rockets. Now, um, I want to use the lock on burst on the second arachnatron while waiting for my chainsaw fuel to refuel or recharge one pip so I can pick up two chainsaw fuel cans and have a full chainsaw again. So I'm just kind of going around like killing time basically, just trying to stay alive, kill time. There's the chainsaw fuel can there. They're kind of paired. There's one there and there's one behind me right there. See on the top right corner of the screen there? Yeah, these two are nicely paired together so that it's good to pick these up together. There's an Arachnotron, jump up, get to Mare, Chrono Strike, and Lock on Burst. This won't kill him though. This always puts good Arachnotrons in Glory Kill though. There we go, so get some health back. Go do a Glory Kill. It's amazing in slow-mo, like my, uh, my chainsaw still hasn't re recharged one pip. All that happened. Okay, so we're nice and healthy again. And there we go. So chainsaw has refueled one pip. Let's grab this can. This is nicely paired with another can. It's on the bottom floor, right beside the the, the portal. And all you have to do is go through the portal, turn to the right, and go through the tunnel. And the second chainsaw fuel can is right there. Let's go through the portal. Turn left. Go through the tunnel. And now we got a full chainsaw again. And boop, there we go. So now the third arachnotron is toast. All we have to do is find it. And then as soon as we kill the third arachnotron, it's basically just clean up. Sometimes there's um, some prowlers, but I believe in this run there was just imps and soldiers. So as soon as I kill the third arachnotron, I want to be very careful not to kill anything else until my chainsaw recharges one pip and I pick up the two remaining chainsaw fuel cans so I can exit with a full chainsaw. That's very important. And the other two chainsaw fuel cans is one right by the entrance at the top of the stairs I showed you before and the other one's on top of that pedestal. Okay, I'm looking around for the other Arachnotron. And there it is. Great way to get close to an attractive arachnotron is just bunny hop towards him. There you go, so just bunny hop towards him, chainsaw him. And now the fight is well in hand, so I'm going to switch back to normal speed more momentarily. Okay, here we go, back at normal speed. And I'm just killing time, waiting for my chainsaw to recharge one pip, and I'm camping by the chainsaw fuel can. Just waiting, trying to avoid taking damage. There's a prowler, see? And my chainsaw has refueled one pip, so let's grab this can. Let's jump over here and dash and get the second can. Now we have a full chainsaw again. We're gonna take this out of the Slayer Gate with us. And just shotgun everything that remains. And another important thing I want to do, and I just made sure of doing that, is uh, I want to have a blood punch ready, and I do have one. So if you don't have a blood punch 
bullet punch ready. And you're at this stage, make sure you um, use the heavy cannon or the plasma rifle lightly on one of the remaining enemies and milk them for a blood punch. And there we go. That's Slayer Gate 2. Considerably easier than the first Slayer Gate. And in my opinion, easier than the last fight in this mission. Okay, so um, having done that, your health and armor gets refilled completely as usual when you exit the Slayer Gate. You can go back here and get some ammo that you may have missed because there's lots of ammo here. And that's it. Let's get set up for the last uh, the last fight. Over here, you're going to jump up. Double jump and dash into this wall and then you're going to jump, jump, dash, dash into this wall. Climb all the way to the top, turn around, aim high and jump and that should put you on that platform there. Aim high and jump. When you get to the end here, just drop down and get behind the, the block with the green seal on it. Watch a little cutscene and then here's a little uh, Mr. Fumblefinger time there, I missed it. <laughs> supposed to stick the, the blue shoot up. I say jump, jump, and then dash, and then punch the green seal in, in midair, and that will make that happen. This cool, all these guts and everything hanging out. Look at it. I do not fear you. This match is not won yet. Come find me, Slayer. I will be waiting. Alright, into the center and turn to the left and you see a magic platform form. Take the lift up. And then a magic platform will form here. Before you go any further, make sure you go off to the right here in this down this uh, hallway here and grab yourself another Praetor suit and that will complete like this will 100% this mission and there's more ammo here. This is very important because the fight is coming up, it's a bitch. But I've got a way of doing it that completely... It's going to get all the enemies bunched up on this side. And this strategy... Um, I'm trying to get a low checkpoint. Because I can only guarantee this strategy works from a low checkpoint. So here we go, so low checkpoint. Slightly different configuration. Starts off with two Rachnatrons. Do not go out there. You don't have to. So don't go past the like the entrance way. Then snipe off the shoulder launchers off this Arachnatron using the sniper rifle. And then use the um, lock on burst on the second Arachnatron on the one that has shoulder launchers left. And these shield guys, in case you didn't know, you can actually snipe them. How's that? Shoot their um, their gun. You, you, the gun sticks out from behind the shield. If you shoot their gun, it will stagger them and um, give you like a glory kill. So they're not a totally impenetrable with those shields. And here I'm using Chrono Strike to get the remainder. See, like, <laughs> got a headshot. I just double jump and then like aim my sniper rifle. It kind of slows me down a little bit. Watch this. I'm gonna do it again. Watch. Double jump up, aim. See that? I aim to the left of his shield. And sometimes you can one-shot them just like a headshot. If you get the right part of their gun, just one-shot them. Okay, so now switch over to the shotgun. We've got a full blood punch and a couple of frags. Um, the first thing we're going to do is get some ammo on that platform across the way there. So double jump, dash, dash, get shotgun shells, HC cannon ammo, or heavy cannon ammo more heavy cannon ammo. Blast that guy, blast that guy, wait right here, blood punch, frag, blast him again and that finishes him off, back off and use the microwave beam on this um, Hell Knight that always spawns there. Turn around, go down the ramp, up here and a, a 
um, a Revenant. Always spawns here. I'm just gonna grab him a little bit with a microwave beam to stun him. And then three quick sticky bombs. Puts him in a glory kill. Do a glory kill. Then they continue this way. And switch over to micro missiles and ice bomb. And turn back this way. And all the enemies tend to congregate here every time. If you do exactly what I do, see the all come there. It's a beautiful choke point. And if you get in trouble, you can take that lift, jump, dash, dash up to the side platform, and then you got everybody dead to rights. The only guy that can get up here is the, the Mancubus. He sometimes jumps up here. And then, if you're still in trouble, you can just drop back down, punch this, and get infinite ammo. But at this point, I've wiped everybody out. So, yeah, that's my strategy. It's got lots of contingency plans. And like I say, dude, just like that, um, it bunches up everybody on the left side. Just beautifully. It took me a, maybe a good 50 tries to figure out this strategy. Like the last part. I will lock in signal now. And I just used the chainsaw on that fodder there because I know there's a chainsaw fuel can. It's gonna go to waste. So I wanted to like, you know, get some more ammo. So now we got a full chainsaw again, and we're entering the next mission with a full chainsaw. Yeah, the first part I had down, right up to the Hell Knight, I had it down. And then at that point, it, it always just turned into total hell. And there seemed no way to control it. But after about, maybe about 50 times, <laughs> I finally figured out, go, to the, go down that ramp there, go up, catch the Revenant, by surprise because he always spawns there and then just well you saw what he did and it drags everybody over to that side it's just beautiful and just like you could just camp there and blast out all your micro missiles then switch over to the, the the rocket launcher and start blasting everybody with a rocket launcher you got him dead to rights so I was really happy about finally uh, figuring that out So I'm always looking for like the easy way, you know. Fight smart, not hard. So now um, I'm concerned about um, entering the next mission with full ammo. And we have fast travel enabled and there's lots of places you can go back to get ammo that you most likely left behind. For example, the place where that kind of um, big square area where this here, the Forge of Transfiguration. That was where you had those nine blocks and you open up a block and there's a whole bunch of enemies inside each block. Here's like that ton of shotgun ammo that you probably were not able to use up. So here you can get that and some armor. And the one right below, right before that, this is where like uh, there was all those cultists bowing down, worshipping the guy there, remember? And you may have left some ammo here too because it was really easy to kill those guys. So there it goes, so now I'm full up on ammo all the way across the board, that's great. The only thing I regret is not doing um, working up a blood punch of one of the, uh, the last men standing in that last fight. That's it. One hundred percent of this mission. Once again, I can't guarantee this throughout the entire game. I know right away I'm not going to. I'm going to be skipping some challenges because they're, like I explained earlier, redundant. So we got our Sentinel battery. Got all the items. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stuff like that there. And I'll see you next time. But I'll see you next time when we take on the Doom Hunter base and the first real super mega boss fight at the end of the mission. All right.
Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.